Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video, I will be sharing with you a birthday card using this really beautiful stamp set card called Gardenian. I just love this stamp set. I know I will be using it a lot in the future. It's just super cute. And I inked up and stamped a lot of the images in this set. Uh, I used some Nina 80 pound cardstock. And I love to have leaves on my card, so I stamped a lot of them. And the different sizes of the flowers, just to make sure I have a variety to use when I'm starting to assemble my card. So I will show you here on screen how I created one uh, of the flowers, and the rest will be the same. And I used my Spectrum Noir markers for this project. And uh, they are alcohol-based markers. And it's an option if you don't have Copic markers. This is a really good option. I really like them and I'm reaching for them a lot. And they have lost me a long time. I have been a card maker, I think, for seven years. And I have had these in my stash and I started making cards. So at least seven years without having to refill any of my markers. And with that said, I am creating a lot of cards every week. So I think they are a really good investment if you're looking for a pretty uh, a pretty uh, um, non-expensive alcohol markers. Okay, anyway, back to the card project here. I used four markers for my coloring today. So that is quite a lot for me. Uh, but I love the like shading you can do with this technique. And I really like how it turned out. You can see the depth and dimension and for my flowers I went with two different colors this teal blue teal color one and one more traditional green springy green <laughs> color combination here so you can see I also thought I was gonna bring in some yellow flowers or orangey yellow flowers but I decided not to do that today and I wanted to create this intense background so I am raising up all of my images from my really navy blue uh, cardstock here and I love how that turned out I think it was super pretty um, if I when I'm looking at it at the screen here I think I could have gone in and maybe darkening up a couple of parts of the background as well maybe using some ink blending to do that but in real life I really love how this turned out and how it looks. It doesn't look flat. I think it can turn out a little bit flat here, but it's, the cardstock is actually darker. I think it looks more pale on the screen than it does in real life. And I think that is the problem here when I'm looking at it. But it's really um, a fun background. So I'm cutting away all the excess that is hanging over the edges and I'm going in with a white gel pen, making some dots to my flowers as well as cleaning up the edges. Um, I fussy cut the images out and I noticed that I had some parts that I went outside the lines when I colored the flowers in so I just cleaned that up and then I'm using some embellishments from Trinity Stamps these are just some holographic stars I love these I have used them in so many projects they are the perfect little embellishment for projects like this and I went in with my glue here my wet glue and just created small dots so I know where I wanted to put all of these and as you can see I free free paste these uh, dots and everything I didn't lay anything out and I think when you're creating a background and filling in a pattern like I'm doing here you can go a little wide and crazy and doing it like this if you're just having one or two embellishments on a project maybe you want to plan it a little bit better but here I think this really turned out nicely so you can see it also brings this project together with all the sparkle from the confetti uh, I chose to have a white uh, note card um, or standard A2 size card um, like base but you could have gone with a black card base I think that would have been nice as well or maybe a pinkish red that coordinates with the flowers would also have been really nice so I heat embossed a sentiment from the birthday gnomes stamp set from Miss Ink and that finished off my project for today I hope you like this project if you did please give this video a thumb up and maybe considering subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet it would really help us out and I will also link to a blog post where you can see still shots of this project and a little bit more information if you like all the products that I'm using in this project are also listed down below until next time I hope you have a great day bye